hard gainers do not exist, okay? I've worked with many clients at this point who all told me they're a hard gainer, they find it so hard to build muscle, and once we, you know, change a few variables in their training and their nutrition uh, and their mindset, and lo and behold, they're no longer hard gainer. And I'm convinced that someone in a marketing department somewhere just came up with the term hard gainer just so they could sell you some special BS supplement that you didn't need. Or, you know, maybe it was just someone coming up with an excuse as to why they can't build the physique that they want and why they weren't willing to put in the work and effort to do so. But in this video, I want to talk about how hard gainers just don't exist, okay? Uh, it's not real. You're not a hard gainer. No one is a hard gainer. And you really need to stop calling yourself a hard gainer because it's killing your gains effectively and the first thing I want you to understand and this is the most important point that I want to make is that your beliefs create your reality okay your internal beliefs create your external reality uh, say for example that you believe that eating animals is bad and you believe a vegan diet is the most optimal way to live if you have that belief it's going to be very hard for you to eat animal foods. Let's just let's just get comfortable. Okay. If you believe that to be true, um, that eating um, animals is bad, it's going to be very hard for you to eat animals. You're just not going to do it. So likewise, if you believe that you're a hard gainer, it's gonna be very hard for you to put in the actions required for you to build muscle. If you believe you're a hard gainer, you will be a hard gainer. If you have never heard the term before and you didn't even know a hard gainer existed, likely you're gonna, ha you're gonna be better. Like, imagine two identical twins, okay? They're absolutely identical. Uh, um, they have the same training the same nutrition the same sleep every single variable is the same except for one one of them believes that they're a hard gainer the other twin believes that they are the most genetically gifted um, athlete on the planet they believe they can just touch away and they build muscle out of those two people who is more likely to build muscle obviously it's the person who believes they're able to build muscle so yes genetics come into it in terms of your response to training and stimulus but you just believing that you're a hard gainer is killing your gains so you just need to crush that belief completely because your beliefs create your reality now obviously uh, some people are hyper responders you know I'm pretty sure you all know that kid in school or college who you know just touched a few weights and just got jacked like almost overnight I'm not denying the fact that genetics come into play okay obviously genetics play a big role and some people find it easier to build muscle than others but you believe in in the the term of a hard gainer is really just an excuse it's an excuse and it's a belief which is holding you back and uh, you just need to crush it completely now if you're someone who's been training for a while uh, and a lot of my clients are usually in this position or have been in this position in the past where they've been training for a while they're not really making much progress uh, but you think you're doing everything right well chances are there's probably something that you're not doing correctly and it the basic stuff will get you 80% of the way there so forget about any supplements it's not because you're not taking this supplement or that supplement forget about any fancy elaborate methods really there's just three things you need to look at your training uh, your nutrition and your sleep so for your training you want to make sure you're training close to failure uh, you want to make sure you're not under training you also you want to make sure you're not overtraining but in my experience most people are not overtraining if you're training every single day if you're hitting weights every single day or even 
maybe six or seven days a week, there is a chance that you might be overtraining. But for everyone else, um, if you're training, you know, five times or less in a week, uh, you're probably not overtraining. You might be under recovering, but that comes into uh, the sleep and nutrition, which I'll talk about in a second. So with your training, you just want to make sure you're training to failure. Uh, ideally, uh, you should be doing three to four sets um, for each exercise, three to four exercises for each muscle group, train each muscle group at least once in a week. Uh, and as long as you're putting the right intensity in, i.e. you're training close to failure, um, you're going to make progress, you're going to make gains. Now let's look at your nutrition, okay? So when it comes to your nutrition, the biggest, um, the biggest thing you wanna look at is your protein intake. And you just wanna make sure you're getting one gram per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, that means throughout the day, you wanna get 200 grams of protein in your diet. And ideally, uh, you would evenly space these meals in three to five meals throughout the day, evenly space them out, and that's gonna make it easier for you to uh, get your protein in. Now, don't be, you also wanna prioritize real foods. Like, don't be relying on these um, protein shakes for all your protein. Just eat real foods. Chicken breast, steak, eggs, um, just eat real protein sources and if you're struggling to hit your protein requirements and your food requirements I would say stop being a little bitch number one but if you are then that's when you can rely on uh, you can use the shakes but for me personally I'm not a big fan uh, of relying on shakes it should be something that's used in a, an emergency situation rather than something that's programmed into your nutrition every single day and finally, if your training's on point, and if your nutrition's on point, then it's probably something to do with your lifestyle. Now that could be sleep. Um, if you're only sleeping, if you're sleeping less than six hours a night, um, that's probably something that you could look at. Uh, and apart from that, it could be stress levels. Like if you're stressed 24 seven, if you're uh, working all the time and you're in a high pressure environment, um, chances are you've got pretty high cortisol levels and that's gonna make it difficult for you um, to build muscle. But just because you work a lot, just because uh, you know, you're know you in a high pressure environment or you have a stressful job or business or whatever, doesn't mean you can't train and doesn't mean you can't build muscle. And actually, I would argue that if you are one of those people uh, in a high stress environment, you really need to do exercise because exercise is gonna help. Um, it's just gonna help you in so many ways. It's gonna help you feel calmer. It's, um, it's gonna help your performance with your job and obviously it's good for your health. Um, so I wouldn't not train. I wouldn't use that as an excuse because um, because you have a, a difficult job or it's high stress, it's not an excuse. Um, you just need to be smart about your training, okay? Um, so if that's the, that's the main three things you can look at, okay? Is your training, your nutrition, and your sleep. If all those things are on point, then that's when it starts to get a little bit more tricky. But I would do some blood work and I would definitely, uh, I would definitely hire a coach at this point hire a coach and do your blood work and just dive into the nitty gritty details because chances are there's something uh, somewhere which is suboptimal. And if you get, if you do everything right, it's impossible for, for you to not build muscle. You understand? If you did every single thing right, if your training was on point, your nutrition was on point, uh, your sleep and your lifestyle was all perfect, you would build muscle. Therefore, you are not a hard gainer. And by identifying with this term hard gainer, it's killing your gains, okay? It's killing your gains, it's holding it back. So just cut it out. Um, stop believing in the term because your belief in this term hard gainer is killing your gains. So cut it out, try it, and let me know what you think. That's it for this one.